Uh-oh, who that? Oh, anyway. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'm back. I, I I was able to get everything set up right. I hope it stays right. That's why I'm, I I'd rather do shit like this in my in my uh in my uh, studio than in my home because uh <clears throat> it's kind of tough to try to uh uh you know set up my 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 apartment when I already got the studio set up. You know, I just come right in the studio, bam! I'm 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 in. I'm in like flan. But um, uh, the fuck? Okay, I'm in like Flynn, so at home is different. It ain't set up at home. At home is for me to chill. I'm at home chilling. Studio, it's work. Okay. All right, now I hope everybody come back who was there earlier. I hope that everybody come back. I have a very short show. I'm going to be on not long because it's late. I'm coming in late. My bad. I apologize. What's up, Maurice? Uh, what's up, Steve? Glad, glad, glad you guys are able to come in and um, and watch. Chainsaw. <laughs> I'm not. Cha I'm at home, Maurice. I'm at home, Mo. I'm in a house chilling. I'm not in the studio. If I was in the studio, I'd be fully dressed. I'm at home chilling, man. I had a lot of things I had to do. I had to get together. Uh, I want to share some stuff with you guys. So I'm, I'm at home. I, uh, uh, I'm not in the studio. My bad. Let me make sure. <clears throat> All right, all right, now. Wait till some more people come on. I ain't changing my pants. Uh, you know, you can you can request it all you want. I ain't changing my pants. I'm at home. I'm chilling. This is comfortable. Because after I do this with y'all, I'm going to eat, pop in me a DVD movie, man, and sit and chill. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, drinking me some hot coffee right now. I got some things I want to share with y'all about what the governors uh, uh, of Ohio is doing about the um, the law enforcement and first responders license and recertifications here in Ohio. I don't know how it is down there with you guys, uh, Maurice. I don't know if they, um, if your governor is giving you a deferment like he's giving us up here in Cleveland or in Ohio. He's giving all law enforcement first responders a deferment on their recertification. Um, like if your, if your recertifications are about to expire, let's say next month and everything is shut down. So all training has been canceled. Uh, um, let's, let, let's say you police, a lot of training has been canceled. You private police, a lot of training has been canceled. Doctors, nurses, people that need to go to, to recertify private security and all of them have to go and recertify. But they can't because everything has been shut down. You, uh, it's that way for what well, he he got it to where <clears throat> everything is on deferment. He sent out a notice. I got the notice on my phone uh, to all first responders, people that had to be recertified, that you don't have to worry about it. He's giving you up to I believe um, to no to December first. So let's say this. A virus continues through, uh, mm, let's say September. All right, and your your license expired before September. Let's say it expired in August. Oh, hey, how how you doing, Auntie Laura and Uncle Uncle Jer? Um, let's say your your license expired in September, but the virus. Is going all the way to October. <clears throat> Let's say your your license are expired, but he's giving you a deferment, an opportunity. Hey, Alicia, he's giving you an opportunity to continue to work on expired licenses, it's expired certification, expired white card, expired um, uh, licenses for for your practice. Uh, He's, he's giving those in Ohio deferment up until December 1st. So you got up until December 1st to recertify your license. Like in, in, in okay, I'm going to use my case. My license expires uh, in May, May 6th. If this virus continues to where everything is still shut down and they're casting all training, 
I'm, I can't recertify to, be, uh, to still be a, a law enforcement officer. <clears throat> That's the law. But he said it to where it's a deferment now. You are allowed to work under these conditions because of the virus. You are allowed to continue to work on an expired license, even the driver's license. You know, if, if your driver's license expires and, and, and you are unable to go and renew your driver's license, no problem. Your license plates, your stickers, no problem. All under deferment. So, police license, nurses, doctors, private private police, private security, uh, corrections, and all those, you are on deferment. You can still operate. How you doing, Alicia? Uh, you can still operate with expired license and don't get in no trouble because the gov the governor is allowing those people a deferment. In other words, I'm good to go until December 1st. Okay. Now if this thing cancels in August or September and they letting everything go back to normal, I got from then to December 1st to recertify all my certifications, renew my license and everything before December 1st. After December 1st, if you haven't recertified everything after the, the virus has been declared okay and everybody declared to go back to work and everything is declared, after that, then you are considered out of compliance. You are considered then uh, 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 operating uh, illegally. So after December 1st, if the virus continues on past that, he will continue the, uh, uh, the deferment for your license. Which I think is a good thing because how could, like mine expires in May. How could I go back to my recertification if no, there's no one there to give me the recertification? I have to have a recertification officer to train me, to cert, to recertify me so I can continue to carry my license and my firearm and my badge and to be able to continue to keep working in law enforcement. So the governor knows that and say, well, hey, look. Uh, we don't need all our officers out of work or our doctors or our nurses or our, our, our um, specialists out of work because they can't go get recertified. You know, we can't have our firemen out of work. We can't have our EMS out of work because they can't go get recertified because of this virus. It ain't our fault. So the, the governor's saying, cool, no problem. Don't worry about it. Just continue to work. Go to work. Everything's fine. Uh, hopefully this will be over with before December 1st. If it's over with several months before December 1st, which I think it will be, I think it'll be over June, July. All right, let's just say July is over with and everything's going back. You got between July and December 1st to go back to school and get all your recertifications back. Get them up to date. You're good to go. Your driver's license, your, your, your uh, uh, license plates, all that. Your, your, your police license, uh, my my uh my police license is in my uniform, but all my life I gotta get all this gotta be renewed. All this everything gotta be renewed. All my certifications, all white car certifications, uh, weapon certifications, everything has to be recertified before uh, December first. So I wanted to share that. They said our commission is good for two years in here. You lucky bastard! Can't stand you, Maurice. Damn, you make me sick. You always got everything better down in Texas. Everything is always bigger in Texas. Your mother can't stand you, Maurice. <laughs> a damn shame. Two years. We got to go every fucking 12 months and you get to go two years. Lucky bastard. Can't stand you. <laughs> damn. So you good then. Well, after May... I'm expired, but I can still continue to work under this umbrella, the deferment. So I'm good. I'm just worried about what, how they're going to act if I go out there and uh, pop some damn body on, on the job. They can't say, well, hey, you out of compliance. Motherfuckers, the, the government, governor said I'm not. All right, my driver's license expired. My driver's license expired in, in November, so I'm good. I think it'll be over before then. Let's just say it's over with in July. So I got from July to December. <clears throat> you got plenty of time. <clears throat> go take the shooting course. Go take the taser course, shotgun course, C CPR, uh, uh, defensive driver. Take all the courses they got to take to be certified before December. Uh, law enforcement will be okay. Private security, private police, police, city police, sheriff, uh, uh, county corrections, and all that. Just, just go through that 
and do it quick because I got a feeling. Told you to move to, you know, I want to move to Texas, Maurice. I, I want to move down there because I, I understand you guys got it better. I want to. I can't leave my mom. I'm not leaving my mama. All right? I, I can't leave. You know, if my mom wasn't here, if she was down there and I was up here, I'd be down there. If my mother, God rest her soul, I hope she never passed. If my mom passed, she the only reason why I'm still here in Ohio is my mom. Other than that, I wouldn't be here. So if my mom passed, boom, i shoot down there. But, um, you know, you got time. Um, find out what you got to do to um, renew everything once this thing is over with. Uh, hopefully it'll be over with soon. I don't want to be running around out here long, you know, out of compliance, fire drive license, fire my police identification, stuff like that, certification commissions. I don't like it. I got friends that say the same thing. They don't like even though the governor says, okay, I still don't like the fact that I'm out here out of compliance. You know, we already got one city that's out of compliance. That's a whole entire city of East Cleveland. <clears throat> I don't want to end up like that. So I'm hoping it's over with. I just wanted to share that with, with my viewers, let y'all know who, who's out there that relies on their uh, certifications for their job uh, as far as in the medical field, professional field, any, in, any field like that. <clears throat> PISG, uh, which is uh, uh, um, damn. P PISG is private investigation, security guard licenses, uh, private private police. They handle all that. They handle the police, the county, the sheriffs. They handle all that. <clears throat> they sent it out for everybody. And that's for your white card, your license, and your cert certification. So everyone got it. It should be no excuse. Everyone should have that. All right. Mine expires in May, so I'm good up until May. Uh, my certification, matter of fact, hold on a second. I want to make sure, I want to make sure. Do this right. I could be talking on the side of my damn neck right about now and be wrong as fuck. All right. Okay. Yep. May 6, 2020. This was May 6, 2020. My shotgun, other stuff. May 6, 2020. Yep. May 6, 2020. All right. May 6, 2020. Yep. So got to May 6. If they don't, if they don't, if they don't do something about this goddamn virus before May 6, I'll be expired. I'm, I'm gonna be running around here chasing criminals, man. I expired like a motherfucker. But the uh governor says, okay, uh you you uh, we'll, we'll, we'll good, we are good up until uh December 1st. That's how long we got to recertify and get that shit together. So I got all my certifications, paperwork, and everything in my uh, vest carrier. Keep it with me all times, and we're good to go. So, <clears throat> so that's what I wanted to share with everybody. I wanted everybody to know that's what was going on, uh, in case you didn't know. I better double check and make sure security is covered in that in that order. You know how Ohio is towards security. Yes. Uh, PISD runs that, and they 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 sent notifications out. And they they I confirmed it. I double checked it once. I got it. Uh, I talked to a couple of friends who got it on their phone. So they sent it out. It was a mass text out, and uh, through the jobs, through every agency, every department, and it was sent out from there. So everyone's notified. I made sure. I double checked, Maurice. So yes, it's good. We good. PISD runs private security, private police. Uh, police, uh, uh, um, in-house, um, 
hospitals, uh, colleges. They handle all that. So all that's covered. So it's covered under that. So we all good. We good. I just hate that. You see, I'm used to going through my training around May because it's warm. You know how it is, Maurice. Going to those shooting courses outdoors and indoors when it's cold and drafty. Even if you cold, you're trying to shoot and it's cold. I like going when it's warm because it's, it's comfortable on the range. So if I got to wait till December to go or, or October, November, it's going to be chilly, cold. I'm like, God damn, trying to shoot the shotgun, man. And, 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 and your hands going to be cold. You're going to be miserable on the range. You know how it is, Maurice. You've been through it long as I have, so... It ain't, it ain't, it ain't pleasant in the winter time to go through recertification, fast fire recertification. Uh, uh, defensive driving and everything is kind of difficult too because of the road conditions when you got to deal with your vehicle. Trying to go through that shit is, is, you know, it's a headache. So trying to go through all that in the winter time is a bitch. But he, we, we, uh, we, we are cool up until December first, and that's also your driver's license and your license plate stickers too so if you're in ohio you expired don't worry about it the police are told not to bother you with expired tags for your little sticker because the dmv is shut down and the government knows that the governor knows that and know that you can't renew your shit, so he's not bothering you he's not bothering you about your driver's license or your sticker He's not bothering you for your certifications and your license. He's not bothering you because he knows everything is shut down and you can't research. So I wanted to share that just for those that didn't know. If you had no idea this was what was, was going on, relax. Take it easy. You don't have to trip about it. The governor says it's all good. Okay, I wanted to share that with y'all. Martell, you're coming in late like always. Man, I can't stand your black ass. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all and let y'all know you don't have to worry about your certifications until December 1st. Everything is fine. Relax. When this is over with, rush and get your certifications. You got until December 1st to recertify after the virus is clear and they got it all clear. You got up until December 1st. All right, I wanted to share that with y'all. Martell, I swear to God, <laughs> I swear to God, you're going to make me drop kick you when I see you. Couldn't tell you when I was requalified. Okay. You know, Maurice, you're just as worse as, as, as Martell. You're always cracking. You crack, you crack, you crack. Martell crack on me and you crack, it, you crack the fact that you in a better place in Texas, 75 and sunny. So what? <laughs> Big deal, is 75 and sunny. You guys get them hurricanes and them tornadoes and shit. So you better not be living in no goddamn trailer park in Texas. <laughs> now, they swoop your ass up and your ass be, be where Dorothy is. You her and Toto. Always cracking on some damn body. Punk ass. I already know that. Listen, Martell, not everybody knows everything you know. It's a lot of people that don't know about the deferment. It's up to your boy Saxman to deliver the message. I know, I know that's funny, Marie. That's funny. So I know you already know punk. You, you know, you, you in the medical field. I'm sure you got that text message like everybody else did. I ain't no corny ass Martell. Shut up. Can't stand your black gorilla looking ass. Look like it, you look like a gorilla that got hemorrhoids and and, and 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 on crack at the same time. So shut up, punk. Anyway, I just <laughs> oh you look like oh you's a corny ass. You got damn right, you a corny ass. I just wanted to share this. See, I have a first time viewer for the first time. You know, she subscribed to my show today. She subscribed to me on Facebook today. And she said she was going to watch me. And see, you guys and took me out of character because I got her watching me for the first time. Shut up! <laughs> Alicia, I apologize. I got knuckleheads in my chat room that likes to fuck with me on Fridays. It's free for all Fridays. Fridays... They pick with me every Friday, sometimes silly Saturdays too. So uh, 
please forgive me and forgive my, my chat room. They, they silly as hell. I have a first time viewer on right now, y'all. So y'all gotta act right. All right. Don't don't have her thinking y'all bunch of a bunch of retards. You, Martell, you and Mo is the main two retards that come in here with, I'm ugly. Oh, God. How could the ugliest motherfucker in Cleveland say, I'm ugly? You know, just like what, what Fred Sanford said to Esther, you so ugly, I can stick your face in dough and make gorilla cookies. <laughs> You was one ugly motherfucker. Ain't got the nerve to say, I'm ugly. What's up, Dave? Dave, these are some retarded people, man. I don't understand them. What's up, Dave? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, man. I'm trying to give them a public service announcement. And they, they on here talking shit about me, calling me an alien, saying I'm ugly. What you mean she must be blind? No, you a blind motherfucker. Let me tell you, you, you so ugly, okay? I had an ugly joke. I had a great ugly joke for your ass, and I fucking forgot. I'm not corny, you punk ass. Anyway, Dave, uh, I don't know if you uh, got the notice like everyone else in law enforcement. There was a notice one out today about a deferment for your recertification, your white cards, your licenses, and everything, uh, because they know because of the uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, everything is shut down. What you now see you done got in it now. Damn Dave, I thought you was my boy. Now you cracking on me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm over here trying to give you guys a bit of information and y'all on here talking shit about me. Dave, I hope you got the notification so you don't have to worry about recertifying until December 1st. Come from PISG. Alright, it came from the state. PISG sent it out. So you ain't gotta worry about your white card, you ain't gotta worry about your certification, you ain't gotta worry about your driving license, you ain't gotta worry about your sticker uh, because of the uh, COVID-19 COVID virus. You never had a great, I, listen, I got some jokes for your punk ass, and I'm, ooh, next time I come on and you come on, I got your ass. Power to the people my ass, you just wait. I got you, I got, I got you. All right, you got me on here, man, out of my hookup. I'm trying to be serious and give public service announcement to my friends and the people that's in the show, and I got new people watching, and y'all acting like a bunch of nuts. God right, damn it. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I just don't understand it. So, Dave, I hope you got the, I hope you got the notice, because I know, I know you're still working. I, I guess you're still working. I don't know. But uh, if you are, then you're good to go. I hope you got it. Dave, are you there? You still remember the number. Call and let me know. What time is it? Nine twelve. So I got a couple more. And I, and I'm uh, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat and because uh, my uh, meal is almost done in the oven. I'm going to eat and watch me some TV and chill out, enjoy my weekend. I'm off the weekend. I'm free. I don't have any issues this weekend. I hope I don't. I'm going to go see my mom, drop her off some... Somebody throwing shit at me? Like this a bit. Got a ghost in this motherfucker. Somebody threw something. Hooking your behind, big... Shut up, dog food. What are you saying, Martell? What are you talking about? Anyway. Damn. The fuck? Okay. Let's uh fix this. Who just called me? Oh, Dave. I'm sorry, Dave. I had I had the phone on 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 on, on vibrate. I apologize, Dave. Here. Let me do this. I'm sorry, Dave. I, I had the phone on, on, on vibrate. I had on I had it on vibrate day. I apologize. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? I had the phone on, on vibrate. My bad. <laughs> yeah, well, take it out of your pants. I know. <laughs> I was waiting for either you 
or Martell, one of you fuckers had to see some shit. I knew it was coming. I said, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not that powerful, Dave. <laughs> you know, it just take. It just. Hey, it just take double ba- double A batteries. All it takes. It's not that powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. You know, uh, the the uh, governor sent that deferment out, so I I ain't know if you had it or not. I was to check and see if you got it. Well, I can send it to you. I can uh, screenshot it and send it to you on your phone. It's from it's it's from it's from PISD. So uh, you are still okay. yeah you still certified through PISD. So that covers you too. God damn, dude! I'm coming. I'm coming to you for a loan. Shit. <laughs> I'm coming to you for a loan. Them many goddamn days and off days. Shit. I got a new house. I gotta pay for, man. Come on. Oh. Not shit. new, but new to me. You know. <laughs> I said new to you. Okay. I can't afford a new house. You kidding me? Fuck. Well, yeah, you can. Just go. Come on back to work with me and uh, me, me and George. Get some extra hours in. You can. You be all right. Oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> Really? Yeah, it's going to be eight years. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. It was 2012. So it is. It's 2020. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, it's been nine years for me since uh, 2011. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, been, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been nine years. Believed. Yeah. So, I, hey, you yeah, know. It feels like two or three years. Not that long. It's been that long, yeah. 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 I don't do nothing, man. You know, I just be chilling. I do my regular. But when he sent that out, I was like, wow, way to go. I said, okay, cool. So that well, gave us a break. They have to do that yeah, they have to do that for everybody, man. I mean, I'm taking you know, my driver's license is due to expire at the end of the month. I'm the, like, oh, shit, what am I going to do? And they said, you know, it's good until, like, the end of September. It doesn't matter. So, no. You know, the DMVs are closed. DMV is closed, but he said to December 1st. That's what I saw on the oh, notice. December 1st. Oh, okay. That's right. what I, I saw. This is the first I heard about it. So yeah, okay. December 1st, man. I'm like, I, hey, that's perfect. You know, could my, my, my well, mine expires in, in November, so I got into December 1st. Yeah, mine is, uh, you know, mine's in November, too, I think. In the middle of the month, now that I think about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. George is, a, George is in October, and ours is in November. Gotcha, gotcha. You know anybody that has this virus? I know one person. I don't know anybody personally that has it. Wow, really? But the hospital, the hospital, very hospital intake, and they said he's not severe enough that they have more patients in there that are, you know. That was that was more severe to him, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he he doesn't have trouble breathing or anything. He said he's coughing a lot, but he said he's shaking so much at night he literally chipped the tooth. Damn! Wow. Yeah, yeah. And this dude doesn't get sick either, man. He's healthy. He runs. He works out. He looks like he's about you know forty five, fifty. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god you gotta do well yeah you gotta do that because people touching your shit you know so well, you, you know, i mean you know people they pick up a can they look at it like oh too much sodium or some shit they put it back meanwhile they pick their nose five minutes before <laughs> they nose on the can. hey hey right they didn't even pick they know they probably dug in their ass too <laughs> Martell yeah, talking about he gonna drink some wild turkey one on one. Man, shut up! You ain't gonna drink no. He talking about he gonna drink wild turkey. Dude. Like, like that's gonna help you from the virus. If anything, it's gonna turn you into an ugly turkey. You gotta use that to disinfect your packages. Yeah, you gotta use that to dis- disinfect your packages. Yeah, yeah wild turkey one on one. Half part water, half part wild turkey. Mix that shit up. You got some left over. You just drink it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
a little easy on your liver. <laughs> oh, Dave, listen. I'm going to let you go because I'm about to get off. Y'all y'all crazy. You, Martel, and Maurice. The three of y'all, man, is like the three damn stooges. That's what it got. <laughs> I guess I'm curly because I don't have any hair. You don't got no hair. That's why you're curly. <laughs> I'll talk to you, man. You be good. Right, Later. That's David Stair. He that motherfucker crazy, man. Dave, Dave has lost his everlasting mind. He has. Woo! Okay, well, I'm gonna end the show. Uh, I believe. Let me see. Did I do this right? Yeah, okay. Oh, you hung up now. Okay. I'm going to end the show and tell everybody, I hope you be safe. Don't catch this disease. If you do, don't bring your monkey ass around me. <laughs> I don't want you around me. Martel, <clears throat> when I see your black monkey ass, your gorilla looking uh, knuckle dragon ass, I'm going I'm to give you a two piece, all right? You and Mar you and Maurice. I'm a jack both of y'all. I don't care if Maurice big ass is down in Texas. I take a flight down. No, I ain't gonna fly down there. Fuck it up. I'll drive to Texas and give your ass a two piece, Maurice. So you keep it up. Martell, I stump you and I'll I'll take Dave and I'll stump his dick in the dirt. That's exactly what I do to all three of y'all. So keep talking shit. And I and I'm just letting y'all know what I'm gonna do. This is the first show that I've done that I had to get violent with y'all. Talk shit. Bye, black ass. Okay. Bye, black ass. Fuck you, you black, ugly mother. The nigga so black, he greasy as fuck. He lay in bed like a big ass hole in the bed. That's how black his ass is. Homo? I'm a You don't call me a homo? And you lay up. You had a man in the car. You talking about that was your woman? <laughs> Woo! You was with Eddie Murphy that day down on Sunset Strip picking up them damn homos. That was you. They figured it out. All right. Well, it's uh, it's time for me to get off. I came on late because I got busy with a couple of things, and I came on kind of late. Uh, I, I'm not in the studio. I'm at home in my apartment. Normally, I'd be in the studio, but I I, I ran to I ran to some things, and the uh, the, the equipment wasn't set up. <laughs> so y'all got a chance to see me in my uh, in, in my uh, pajamas. But hopefully tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow on time, and I have, I better bring you guys another show tomorrow. Keep your fingers crossed. That's all I got to say. Keep your fingers crossed. Hope everything work okay. I'm going to go see Mama Sax tomorrow, and maybe she'll come on the radio and act for... Uh, enjoy your weekend, Sax. Thanks you for the, for the public service announcement. Nice to meet the wild turkey. <laughs> hey, he, he's more than a wild turkey. He's a big-ass bear is what he is. Big fat cow is what he is. That's how I call him. So, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Alicia, for tuning in for the first time. I'm glad you now are uh, a uh, viewer and a fan. I'm not going to say a fan, a friend. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Don't get sick. And remember, as always, Saxman, love you. And I care a lot about you guys. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. All right? Be safe. Peace. Oh. Mm.